Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest. An Elden Ring on Playframe and the north, just the northward direction we're going. Technically, that is upward, but we are also technically heading northward. For some reason, I don't know. I found this cave and it's neat and it's just kind of taking me up and north, seems like. And now I'm curious. We will double back at some point because I also feel pretty confident that at some point things are going to get nasty and hard and tell me to go back south where I belong. <laughs> and it will be right to do so. But until then, uh, let's just keep on going north. The good from soft swamp can wait. So. Let's get ourselves up this and see what the heck happens. Better turn this on, I suppose. Okay. Seems like we're getting a lot of good materials up here, too. Worth exploring a little further. Plus, good views. There's really not a downside as of this moment. Oh, hello. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Just a bat. That's fine. It's just a bat. It's just a bat. Hey. Come here. There we go. Oh. Seriously, I thought you'd have died from a jumping attack. That's fine. Okay. So, it's a cool location. Pretty big, too. All right, more bats. Another bat. Just bats, looks like. Since we are not dealing with the stone skin, fellas, I'm going to get my sword back. It's just doing a bit more damage right now. Sword, where are you? Here you are. I doubt I can sneak up on these. Well, maybe so. There we are, and... Ah, two more, of course. Come on. Die. There's one and two. There we go. Better. I'm hearing mining, so we're going to start seeing him again at some point. Um, hmm. I just feel like there's going to be something nasty. Yee, careful. Uh, yeah, better mount up. Uh, oh, can't. Can't do that here. Okay. Gonna have to jump good instead then. Yeah. Jump. And jump. There we go. Easy. Uh, ha! Piece of cake. Everything's going great, everybody. What are you so worried about? Suspiciously empty around here. Don't trust this at all. Oh, just more bats, though. Could do a lot worse than more bats. And there it is. Whatever that is, is probably a lot worse.
So I recall running into another creature of some sort that had more of a human head and face and was singing uh, back on the Weeping Peninsula, I think. And it's looking like this is a similar creature. What a cool thing. How close can I get before the song stops? That's really cool. You keep on singing for the moment until I need to get to that ladder. Um, I don't know. I think not. No, I think not. Don't suppose I can just sneak past you. No. <laughs> I was just gonna let you keep singing. But someone had to do poison. Eek. All right, all right, all right, all right. A lot of bats. Don't make me come back here with that gravity move. Oh, geez. Stop it. Whiff. Yeesh. Eh, almost got you. Got you. And come on. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know that was an ability you had. I see. Well, I did warn you. And there we go. Resume fun. Nay, enhance fun. I expect this is going to work great. Really feeling excited about what this art is going to do. I guess it's Ash, isn't it? I think I keep on wanting to say Art of War because... That's the Sekiro name for it, isn't it? Something similar? Nope. Don't knock me off. <laughs> I know what you were trying to do. I'm gonna save my... Oh, I didn't know you guys could also grab and bite. We're just learning a lot today, aren't we? Come on. Um. <laughs> Someone got a little bit too excited about the grab and bites. Forgot how to fly. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, you two come down here. We're going to test this out. Uh, it doesn't seem to work when they're resting on your shoulders, I guess. We're going to do something cool. You ruined it! It's all right. We got another shot in a second here. Still got a good feeling. Wait a minute. Didn't see this before. Be wary of weak foe and then precious item. Ah, well, that's great. And that's why I was hearing mining, of course. I need to remember, so, like, I never leave messages, so I forget sometimes that, like, other people writing up your messages uh, can help you, can, like, heal you or restore flasks or whatever it does, so, like, I should be doing that more often with good messages, especially given a bunch of, like, y'all are leaving them. <laughs> I just engage with that mechanic so rarely. In Souls games, I forget that it's really useful. Real fast, let me swap. Probably not essential, but time saving. Especially given the battlefields is small. It's not a lot of room for maneuvering. 
Uh, ooh. Well, that is a good treat. Thanks, ladder. And message pointing to ladder. But seriously, it's gravity sword time. I have a good feeling about how it's going to go this time. Oh, come on. All right, sing your songs and whatnot. I come prepared. With the power of gravity on my side. And heck, I can probably just run up and charge you. To begin with. Get a good advantage starting out here. Come on. Yeah, good enough. And I see you got back up. It's fine. That's right. Get on the ground. Beautiful. That's satisfying. <laughs> That's very satisfying indeed. There we go. Handled. See, I told you it was going to go better. You thought it wasn't going to go better because of the way things always work out when I <laughs> express optimism vocally before things happen. But sometimes it works out. You just got to have optimism sometimes. Until it kills you. Think positive. Still very curious about how y'all are getting up here. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Oop, hello. No grabs. Get out of here. There's so many of you. Really blending in well there. Hmm. Is that up above? Ooh. Yes. Better top off just in case. Where are you? Hmm. Could go that way. Oh, there's a big one over there. I guess that's how the small ones are getting here. <laughs> but how did the big one get here? Oh, there you are. Two of them. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We can handle this. Hello. Oh, look at you. Throwing spells and stuff. Need to figure out how to actually, like, ground stab them once they're down. No, no, no. Fine, poison, whatever. Go fall off the edge. That's a new ability. <laughs> Die. That's not working. Good enough. Oh, geez, you're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. No, I almost had the heal. It was almost there. Ooh, I'm going to get you. Now. Getting reckless fighting bats. Not used to bats being threatening. Come on! No. Disagree on the timing of that grab. 
It's probably real stupid, but one thing I could try, or I guess am currently trying, is just sprinting past all of them. I kind of figured that wouldn't work given they're all flyers, but uh, so far, regular bats have not kept up very well. So if I just sprint, I'll get poisoned. And you're sort of opening volley. Well, unless she doesn't do the poison move. But I probably will get knocked off this. Uh, nope, just the poison. All right. Can probably live with that. They'll probably follow still. But how far? I wonder. Yeah, still following a bit. Get out of here. There we go. This might be working kind of okay. At least for getting myself up here. To challenge the both of them again. Which I guess I don't have to do, but it really feels like... Yeah, that's another lift. Hmm. Maybe I should check over here first. Just to see, because maybe this is like a dead end with some items that I should... Just sort of, uh... Handle real quick. Um... Nothing... Careful... So various shinies down there, which is going to be dangerous. It might be good, though. And unless it's way stronger than its uh, counterparts, which it probably is. Most of the enemies I've run into out here have been stronger. Uh... This might still be a kind of manageable fight. Maybe more trouble than it's worth, though. Got your arm. Mm, you're sturdy, though. I got the Serpent God's Curved Sword, which seems pretty cool. And yeah, I don't really... I don't really feel like it. There's enough hard fights up here. I'll just take this and be on my way. Thank you. Bye. You're not worth the trouble. All right, back to this. Still plenty of opportunities to die to this whole situation. You backstab these? No. Oh well. Here they come. With their poisons and whatnot. Come on over. And no, you don't. I think you'll be coming down here and getting hit by me, and hopefully the other one won't be sneaking up, because I really want to take you out. So I only have to worry about one. No, okay. Spells. And more spells. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Ah, no, the roll did not go like I thought it was going to. Look out. Quick. Quick. Oh, that was so close. Eh. This fight started a lot better than it's going now. Eh. No. Stop. Yeah, camera. Calm down. All right. Woo. Tough. Okay. Let's get more goodies. I really should be using... Well, I say I should be. I've been doing fine without using the rune arcs. And they are kind of in limited-ish supply if I'm not getting summoned all the time, so... I mean, without using them, I'm not really benefiting from my, uh, great rune here, but I am managing okay. Kind of prefer to save them for tougher times. Maybe times like these. This is a big thing. Big, tall thing I'm climbing up here.
Um, just to be safe. I, I don't think. Goodness, we need three golden seeds now. To get another flask charge. Nowhere near another level. Maybe we should play with this. I've kind of got a pretty boring physic flask going right now with just like a half HP bar heal and then a regen. It's good, but like maybe there's more interesting ones. Like maybe the half heal plus... Um, I'm not using charged attacks nearly as much now that I'm jumping more. If I could like crank up jump attack damage, heck yeah, for sure. Uh, that could be fun. And heck, let's swap this with the regen. Just make its utility pretty different. Okay. I hear singing, so... Fun is about to be had. Oh, never mind. Bosses. Boss is about to be had. Well. That I guess what I'm hearing is the singing down there? Must be. Or higher up. Let's see about the boss first. It's been a tricky run up, so I'm guessing this is going to be something. Um. Music's already more intense. I think I'll be sneakier about this. So, um, hello? Yep. Oh my. That looks like a dragon. A magma worm Makar. Yikes. Yikes. This is feeling very Monster Hunter all of a sudden. Jeez. Oh, it's got a sword, too. Come on. What is it with dragons in this game and not being able to just pick one thing to be about? This is going to be an interesting challenge. By dodging the attacks themselves so far, not so bad. It's mostly just figuring out how to... Get around all the big charges with the fire everywhere and actually getting in damage opportunities. Jump! Ow! This is an interesting one. Well, hey, let's uh, try this out. Uh, yeah! Ah. Jump attacks! Jump attacks! Oh, whiff. Not good. Yo, oh, no. That's not what you want. I imagine cutting the tails isn't a thing. It doesn't feel like it's been a thing for a long time, but, uh... Oh, didn't expect the follow-up. Fair enough. And there you go. Now, come on. Boo. Yeah. Going for the head, then. Fine. Yay, boy. That hurts. And the follow up. Nope. Keep going for it. Yeesh. Now what are you doing? Oh, just making a mess. Oh, and you're up on two feet now. Okay. With a fire sword. Cool. Yeah, okay, that's not what I expected. Yeesh. Nope. Nope, nope, it's a lot of fire. 
It's a lot of fire. Get the tail. Ah, come on. Ow. Uh. Pretty intimidating, fella. Oof. Glad that pillar is here. <laughs> that was doofy. Haha! -ha! Snuck up on you. Wait, no, oh, what? Come on. That was some nonsense with that rotation. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. I wonder, I might be able to upgrade the sword again, honestly, which might not be a bad idea. Where's the materials? Oh, wait, this is item crafting. Uh, I bet I got enough. I bet I do. Here, let me get, let's go, uh, let's go upgrade a weapon or two here. I think that'll make a big old difference. Uh, one of these days I'll have the layout of this relatively small and simple hub memorized. <laughs> it's just that first cylindrical room it always throws me a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm dying plenty, you don't have to rub it in. Let's get a little spending cash here. And... Yes, okay, this will now be plus eight. Oh, we just need two more to get it to plus nine. And then I bet our plus fours could get it to ten and higher. Ah, oh, just a little more. So close. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. One's better than zero. Let's see what we can do here as well. Uh... Ooh, we need four... A uh, Grove Glaive Wart... Uh, gr <laughs> Why do I always say that wrong? A Grave Glove Wart 4 here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do that one as well, because they're good. Yeah. Nice. All right. Feeling ready. Let's do this. We can 100% beat this thing. I wonder... We should get rid of gravity. Gravity's not going to help with this much, probably. Probably the, uh... That blood slash is going to be the ticket. Uh... Yeah, that's my guess. It's a pretty safe bet. For a lot of situations, seems like. Furthermore, I wonder, we've got some things that could reduce fire vulnerability. Or we can craft them anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got a few of these. Or I could have a few of these. I think I've already got a couple. Here, well, let's see how they do. Uh. Yeah. Let's try that. It feels like there is going to be some status effect that's great against this. I might bring in Aurelia to see how the poison does. We'll try one more attempt without, just to see how we do. The fire wasn't really the big problem. <laughs> Ultimately. It was the getting hit. Where are the runes hiding? Come on. I didn't have a ton, but... I'd like them back. There you are. Oop, get him. There we go. Okay. There. Got a little bit of, uh... Fire protection. That'll be nice. Especially for this phase one. It's probably not a lot of fire protection, but... Some's better than none. Ooh, boy. Oh, I rolled. Disagree. I think I rolled just slightly too late, though. 
Okay, the fire protection probably actually did help a good bit. I could have just outright died from the fire alone without it. I'm not sure. That may be a thing we have to test. We'll test both Aurelia and the fire protection thing in this one. See how poison does. See how stepping in that lava without fire protection does. Just as an experiment. All right, Aurelia, do your thing. Come on. I didn't have these yet. You know it's not fair unless I have these. All right. Big hits. Here we go. Big hits. You're a great distraction, Aurelia. Appreciate it. Eh, I've got the defenses on now, so no point testing the lava. Getting in some good hits, though. Ooh, and a stagger. Didn't manage that last time. Heck yes. Boom. Beautiful. And I ain't done. Oh, come on. Get those jumping attacks in. And here we go, phase two. So maybe it's just hitting your tail that's, like, making you vulnerable. Ah, this feels like cheating, bud. Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Good to have fire protection just for the times I do need to risk getting in closer like that, I think. Oh, come on. Hold still with the tail. No, that move again. That move's cheap. It's not that he turns, it's that he doesn't start turning until the attack starts coming downward. It's like a fake out. That is some nonsense. Hanging there, Aurelia? Ah, you're not hanging in there. That's okay, you did great. You made... Oh, come on, and the radius on that AoE? Oh, you're still here, Aurelia. Good for you. I mean, not for much longer, but for the moment. Whoa. <laughs> look at you with your fancy moves. Ah, and look at me just whipping. Ah, come on. Ooh, watch it. Come on, why are these not connecting? There we go. Eesh. Come on. I need to wait a little bit longer to be safe rolling through that. Hello! And one more and you're done. Yes, there we go. Gracious. A magma worm scale sword, though. Sounds cool. Let's check that and the other sword that I picked up earlier out. And a dragon heart. Oh, our first dragon heart. I know a place we can take those. We should do that today. So, okay, hang on. Let's read about swords. Everyone loves to read about swords. Uh, did I read this one? Talon swords are affixed to the legs of Stormvale's warhawks, but this one has been repurposed for human use. The blade's thin and lightweight, so not to, so as not to obstruct the hawk's mobility. Definitely a dexterity weapon. Cool, though. I wonder what that moveset's like. Um, here's one of them. The Serpent God's Curved Sword. A uh, curved sword fashioned in the image of an ancient serpent deity and a tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. Cool. What kind of weapon are we... That's a strength one. A curved... It's one of the only strength curved swords, so that could be interesting to try out. I need to learn what the st strategies are for <laughs> grinding for uh, smithing stones of various kinds. There's too many cool weapons to try out and only so many materials. Uh, all right. Definitely going to need some faith for that. But this is good. I've got one of these curved greatswords now that I can be able to uh, use without leveling dexterity further for now. That's great. Uh, a curved greatsword wielded by magma worms. The shape resembles a dragon's daw, uh, jaw and is covered in hard scales. It's said these land-bound dragons were once human heroes who partook in dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies, shadows of their former selves. 
magma guillotine, grab the scale sword with both hands as a worm would hold it in its mouth, and leap forward, smashing it into the ground and triggering a blast of magma. Follow up with an additional input to perform a chopping attack. That's too good, yeah. Gonna need some faith on this character. There's too many fun toys. We'll get there. Did I pick my runes up? I did. Oh, and I can get a level or two. That's exciting. Let's do. So let's see. Uh, endurance there. And let's keep vitality going. Just drip feeding it upward toward 25. And that to 25. And then faith. All right. And this as well. There we go. So now that we've done that, what can we look forward to? I feel like I'm going to be gaining access to a new area from all of this. Whatever's north of Laernia. Right? Especially given how tall this elevator is. <whistles> yep. I might not belong here. At the Altus Plateau. But, um... It's not gonna stop me for the moment. Oh, we're very high up. What is this? Which direction am I looking right now? Okay, so I'm looking south toward... Oh, I'm looking out this way. Okay. So it's just not a thing I've, uh, seen yet. Okay. And over here should be southward. I should be able to see the... Yeah, there's the academy. Way off in the distance. All right. Well, let's look around, see how nasty this may or may not be. Pretty, though. So pretty. Uh... Hmm, okay, so I see... what looks like more of the singing flyers up there, and kind of a big guy stomping around. And there's a flower plant kind of off there in the top left. Maybe this isn't a flyer. Maybe this is just a bigger guy kind of crouched and waiting to attack. How scary a guy are we talking? Oop. One at a time's fine. You, come over here. Come on. And just you, preferably. Not you and your friend. Come on. Let's go. Have I fought one of you? Was one of you in Castle Stormvale? I think one of you might have been. Yeah. Nope. No. Okay, you're quite tough. Quite tough indeed. Whoa. <laughs> Fun move. Whoa, now. Glad I can stagger you. Yeesh. Oh no. Yeesh. Yeah, they can definitely kill me in like two hits, so this place may be just slightly beyond me. But we'll see how far we can get. What sort of goodies we can swipe? Nope, oh, whiff. Good enough. Okay, there's one. 
Let's see, so we're up here now. It's a lot of these... carriages. How tough are the dogs? Okay, no, all right. So some enemies are still quite manageable, and that's an Ash of War, I think, that I will be taking. There we go. Sacred Order. Things are starting to get a lot more golden in a lot of ways out here. I'm suspecting we're getting closer to that city. I guess we can check pretty easily, can't we? Yeah, yeah, like we're just, just east of here is that city that I got briefly stuck in. And the city probably starts like around here-ish, I would wager, <laughs> given how huge it was. So we're actually probably pretty close. That's pretty cool. I'll spend like another minute or two up here, but I kind of want to get back down to La Laernia. Save this as just a fun treat for later. There's so much to do down in that lake, though. I spent weeks down there, and I still feel like I barely started it. Ooh, but this. Perfumer's Ruins. Hmm, we got plants. And you, you're new. And you, oh gracious, large. I'm in the bushes. You can't see me. Master of Stealth. Hey! Don't run away. What? Whoa! That's cool! What cool particle effects. What cool spells! Teach me the spell! This one's gonna be... Oh, no. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> this one might be a little much for me, but let's find out. Not as tanky as the big ones out there. You hit hard, though. And you're done. What a cool look. Omen Killer robe. Wow. And Omen Killer Long Gloves. Okay, we just have a new set today, don't we? Can I wear it? Is the question. Omen Killer Robe. Kind of worse in a lot of ways, but the weight's better. Maybe I should do this later. I think I should. Guys, please. Chill. With the poison. All right, and there's all the enemies. Well, all of some of the enemies. Putting the rest of this on. It's fun just having new stuff to wear. Omen Killer Long Gloves. Long, stiff gloves worn by the Omen Killers. Thank you. Description. I feel like I could have pieced that one together myself. I don't suppose the chess piece says more. Uh, Butchers of Twisted Conscience. Its thick apron is worn in remembrance of Rolo, the progenitor of the Omen Killers and a perfumer of antiquity. Perfumers? Huh. Real interesting. It's kind of a new faction type thing that's not been on my radar. An Altus Bloom. I keep wanting to say Atlas. It's not Atlas. It's interesting. It's like a weird faction who's like gardening these plants and presumably doing something with them. Perfume bottle. Hmm. So many interesting things. This place is seeming manageable difficulty-wise so far, but, uh, another perfume bottle. Oh, no. <laughs> you blended right in, didn't you? 
Yes, you did. Yeah, I think we're just going to be poisoned. That's fine. Oh, that didn't do as much as I hoped. It's fine. Um, could be a good time for fire. Maybe. I feel like I've not leveled up the torch nearly enough. But hey. It's still pretty good. And it seems to stagger it. And it's just fun to do. It's eating up all my FP, but it's for a good cause. Be on fire some more. Ow. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. My fault. My fault. There we go. Ooh, and you were blocking something. Nascent butterfly. Okay. Let's, uh... There we go. Could have just used fire bombs, but you know that's not as fun. Come on. Uh, before we go down those stairs. Hmm. Not seeing anything else yet, so... Alright. Stairs it is. And... Okay. A perfumer's talisman. Okay, we need to read a few descriptions clearly because we're... getting a lot of perfume stuff that I don't know what does. The talisman, which is somewhere... Here we are. Uh, raises potency of perfume items. Uh, there are gardens known only to the perfumers. Whether hidden on the fringes of the highlands or obscured by shadows inside caves, the flowers blossom in secret waiting to impart their scent. Aha. Uh -huh. So where are these perfume bottles I've been picking up? Are they key items or crafting items? Aha. Uh -huh. Glass bottles used by perfumers, used to seal various scent compounds. Essential vessel for crafting perfume items. The art of perfuming was once jealously guarded in the capital, but after the perfumers were drafted into service during the shattering, the art became widely practiced throughout the lands between. I don't know that I've found any, uh, crafting recipes that would allow me to create perfumes yet, but I bet I'll start finding them now. In areas like these. Cool. Well, this was a fun discovery, and not nearly so lethal as I expected. A pleasant surprise. But yeah, I think... I think it might be time... Yes, we're going back. I'd say around here. That is probably where we're headed. Because I... Well... What we could do is try to, tomorrow... Get around... I don't know if this area connects necessarily, but if we could get around here and open whatever this is, then we could probably access more of what I was wanting to last week. It's possible. Might as well since we're up here. Yeah, let me, uh... Head back over here. And tomorrow we'll see if we can loop around. And if we can't, then that's fine. We'll just warp back down to Leornia and get back to work, you know? Anyway, 
thank you all very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow for some more Elden Ring. Goodbye.